We got a look at New Horizon on the Frozen Wild screenshot, so I thought why not combine it with the best pictures you guys send in every week. Let's do that. So if you like that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. You probably already saw my video with a ton of info on the Frozen Wilds from a Game Informer magazine preview. Info like the max level increase, new skill lines and a new skill and way more. So totally check out that video if you haven't already. In that article, they also showed new screenshots from the upcoming DLC and now the senior producer from Gorilla Games tweeted two of them out. And I thought, okay, why not show you the other one as well in this video? Shh. Of course, if you want to read that article, totally do it, it's in the November issue of Game in the Warmer. Now let's take a look, and after that we will take a look at the pictures you guys of course send in for the competition. Sadly, the Frozen Wilds pictures are not that big, but this is all we got. First up, we got Aloy at a new settlement in the game, wearing the Banuk Sickness Eater outfit without a hat, and yes, this is kind of what we expect from a Banuk camp right now. Tents, a campfire, but no Banuk around though, which is weird. And we of course got the painting there on the mountain. I think this is the same camp that we saw in the environment trailer from the Frozen Wilds, it's only of course released recently, but we did see some Banuk there, so I wonder where they went. The place of the next picture was also from the environment trailer, this road. In the screenshot we see Aloy here ready to go there and I saw someone say hmm this might be the road that we have to take to the frozen wilds but this looks smaller but still mysterious. I can't wait to figure out what's at the end of this road. The last new screenshot is the most interesting in my opinion since it shows a snap maw and we did not know that it would return. Of course we knew a lot of machines that would return but not the snap maw. Well now we do and it also shows a huge wall with Banuk paintings on there. It looks like some sort of military base or something. Cool because looking at the environmental trailer nothing like this was shown. Just land, not a real military base. I will bring my fire arrows to kill these snap Moss so I can easily explore what is left of this place. So there you have it, three new screenshots for the Frozen Wilds. Again, check out my video where I talk about a ton of new info about the max level increase, new skills and way more. So totally check it out if you have not already. Then let's move over to the screenshots I got from you guys. Thanks of course as always for sending. This will be the second last video, so next video will be the vinyl one where I showcase these screenshots. So you have only one week left to send in your pictures via the PlayStation message. Go to the Your Raptors PSN community, find me as the owner and hit me up with your shots. If you already did that after Sunday, October 15th, then you're already entered to win. So keep that in mind, you don't have to send me your shots again. Devil's Hand 77 doesn't have to enter anymore because he won with the Aloy and Watcher staring challenge picture. Really cool one, good job. First up we got God 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 3 with an amazing shot of Aloy shooting fireworks in the sky with a heavy gun. I love the cloud and the mist, the combination with the linear line of the bullet is just really well done. I'm not going to pronounce that name again. Fire always seems to be great for creating awesome Aloy shadow pictures like this one from Aju Takora. You guys are really testing my pronunciation skills and you know that those are not great. Anyway, the lights from the explosion and Aloy's hand covering her face makes this an even better shot. Wait, is this also a Frozen Wilds picture that we just looked at? No, 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 this is a shot from Tech Bean Gamer in front of the road to the new area called The Cut. Nicely centered, Aloy already freezing from the looks of it and yeah, just give me that DLC already. I've never seen a camouflage like this, but this is indeed a stalker according to the Neck 24 that made this awesome shot. Love how Aloy is ready to shoot while in midair and again, what happened to that stalker? Whoa! Formless Waste got me stunned by this beautiful... Yeah, 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 I'm, st I'm still here. The pink colors of the sky in the mist, the little lights of the shield weaver from Aloy, really well done. It's getting hot in here, but Aloy does not seem to have a problem in this picture from a Dax 92. Aloy seems ready to make the world burn. A really awesome shots, the flames, Aloy's face, the shield weaver having a hard time to absorb the damage from the flames. Really cool. Because I want to show you another awesome picture, we got this one from Demonizer with credits to Divergent for telling him about this place. 
the blurry backgrounds, yet a clear picture of Aloy and the flags. They look like they are one, and I really like it. Enough Aloy for now, let's give the spotlights to the good old Eclipse. Those guys seem ready for battle in the picture from Lucky Less 11. All face the same way, really nice. Last but not least is Aloy stuck in time or something. At least it creates for a nice shot from Erin Vizin. And I totally mispronounced that, sorry. But that's a pretty hard name for me to pronounce. With an extra layer over Aloy, just, just a really cool job. So what was your favorite picture this week? Of course, you can choose the pictures from the Frozen Wilds. Anyway, let me know your favorite in the poll I put in the comments and in the description of this video. Remember, this will be the last time to send in your shots for a chance to win the Frozen Wilds. You got till Sunday, October 22nd to enter at around 3 p.m. Central European time. So if you want to be sure, just send it in before Sunday. Then we will vote for the overall winner next week and that will be one good time because there are some awesome shots there man, I really can't choose. Subscribe to stay up to date on that, like this video to support the channel, of course when we know more Horizon Zero Dawn DLC news I will let you know and uh, goodbye.